serving as a bridging design between the later Galaxy-class Explorer and its predecessors in the Excelsior and Constellation classes, the Ambassador-class Heavy Cruiser was one of the most ubiquitous and well-renowned starships of the early 24th century, and served as the face of the Federation in numerous first contacts, frontier negotiations, and political flashpoints. At a length of 524 metres and a width of 283 metres, the sturdy frame of the Ambassador-class presents an evolution of the cylindrical secondary hull design made famous by the legendary Constitution class. This structure is supported by a nacelle and saucer assembly that draws inspiration from the Excelsior class and would later serve as a template for the layout of the much larger Galaxy class. Carrying 700 crewmen across 33 decks, the Ambassador is well equipped to deal with a wide variety of missions and assignments, either in isolation or as part of a flotilla. In combat, the Ambassador class offers an effective balance of endurance and firepower, featuring 10 Type 9 phaser arrays distributed evenly across the frame, as well as both forward and aft photon torpedo launchers. The Ambassador's shield systems are extremely resilient, able to endure sustained fire from multiple targets through an extended engagement. This serves to partially mitigate the ship's limited agility, as the large vessel can often be sluggish when manoeuvring at sublight speeds. The Ambassador class is notable for being the first serving Federation Starship class to be equipped with phaser strips rather than individual phaser firing ports or turrets. These curved stretches of charging coils were symmetrically arranged across wide areas of the ship's hull and allowed a single phaser array to project a beam from any point along the strip, even sometimes shifting the origin point of a beam across the strip itself while it remains engaged in order to track a moving target. This system essentially eliminated all blind spots from the vessel's weapons coverage, allowing the craft to defend itself from attack in any direction, with only limited manoeuvring. The Ambassador class carried a more advanced warp drive than the earlier Constellation class, allowing the vessel to maintain a cruising speed of warp 9.4 under normal conditions. This advancement inspired Starfleet to begin allocating the Ambassador class many of the long-range exploration assignments that had previously been carried out by the Excelsior class. Across the 2330s and 40s, the Ambassador served as Starfleet's principal exploration vessel, and even took its place as the flagship of the Federation, with the commissioning of the USS Enterprise C in 2332. The fourth Federation starship to bear the name, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701C, served as the Federation's flagship during what was ostensibly a golden age of peace, but after only 12 years of service, the vessel met a violent end in the historic Battle of Narendra III. After a number of Romulan warbirds suddenly attacked a defenceless Klingon colony, the Enterprise C, under the command of Captain Rachel Garrett, responded to a general distress call transmitted by the colony. Coming to the settlement's defence, the Enterprise stood alone against four Romulan warbirds, an unwinnable battle by any reasonable metric. Fully aware that by refusing to withdraw she was dooming her ship and crew to destruction, Captain Garrett nevertheless chose to defend the colonists to the last. The Enterprise remained on station over Narendra III, holding the line against the Romulan fleet even as her hull buckled and her torpedo launchers ran dry. Though the Enterprise ultimately fell to her attackers, her valiant defence of Narendra III became common knowledge across the Klingon Empire, inspiring a new and revitalised support for the Kitimer Accords and ultimately transforming Federation Klingon relations from a tentative peace treaty into a strong alliance built upon an attitude of mutual respect. Though the vessel fell to the sidelines following the introduction of the Galaxy class, the Ambassador class continued to serve reliably across Federation space well into its twilight years. Vessels of the class fought in the Battle of Wolf 359 as well as during the Klingon Civil War, and later in a support role during the Dominion War, fighting to defend the frontier that they themselves had first charted over 40 years before. Thank you for watching Space Dock. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.